All right. It is Thursday, May 2nd, 2019 at one thirty-three p.m. Let's take a look at some headlines. Man falls into America's most dangerous volcano after climbing over railing to get a better view and survives. A man in Hawaii has fallen into the Kilauea Volcano Caldera, the most dangerous volcano in the U.S., and survived. An official at the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park told Big Island Video News that the man was seen falling into the caldera at 6.30 p.m. local time. The incident took place at the Steaming Bluffs area and was reported to park authorities. Rangers and members of the fire department went to the scene and located the man at around 10 p.m. He was rescued several hours later and was airlifted to hospital for urgent medical care. According to the Star Ad Advertiser, officials of the Hawaii County Fire Department said the man was in his 30s and had, been, had fallen between 60 to 70 feet from the volcano's Halamantimanao crater. He had reportedly climbed over a metal railing to get a closer look at the cliff edge when he lost his footing and fell. He is believed to have gotten trapped on a narrow ledge. Visitors should never cross safety barriers, especially around dangerous and destabilized cliff edges. Chief Ranger John Broward is quoted as saying, Crossing safety barriers and entering closed areas can result in serious injuries and death. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park did not immediately respond to Newsweek's request for comments. So a man fell into a volcano and lived. That is going to be the craziest bragging rights ever for the rest of his life. He's going to be like, yeah, I found a volcano and totally lived. Wow, that's just craziness. Alright guys, please be careful when getting close to volcanic areas or um, Grand Canyons. When you get close to an edge, you know, it's so dangerous to try and take a picture or try to get a closer look because that's when the accidents happen. Alright, next. Queen Elizabeth reportedly visits Meghan Markle, Prince Harry's home, while they wait for a royal baby's arrival. As Meghan Markle and Prince Harry prepare for the birth of their first child together, they reportedly got a visit from none other than Queen Elizabeth. According to multiple reports, the 93-year-old monarch dropped the couple's renovated Frogmore cottage, dropped by the cottage to see how the place looked after all the work the couple put into it. In addition, she was able to check up on their pregnant daughter-in-law. The Duchess of Sussex is expected to give birth to her first child with Harry any day now. She's been on maternity leave for a week with her mother, Dorian Ragland, reportedly right by her side. According to People, the Queen has had easy access to the couple's newly renovated home as it sits on the grounds of Windsor Castle, just 25 miles outside of London. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip reportedly spent a lot of time at the castle and finally made their way to the cottage to visit expecting Duke and Duchess. This isn't the first time the couple's Frogmore Cottage has played host to the royal visit, despite rumors of ongoing feud with Prince William and Kate Middleton, reportedly put any uh, animosity aside in order to celebrate the Easter holiday. Prince William's jokes that he has no idea when Meghan Markle will give birth. Hopefully they will have a beautiful baby soon. May God bless them. Alright, next. Excuse me. <coughs> Illegal hunting angle being probed in fatal shooting of 25 year old drive on Iowa Highway. Authorities in Iowa say they're investigating whether a bullet that killed a former college softball player as she drove home from work may have been an errant shot fired by someone hunting illegally. Michaela Redinger, 25, was driving around 2.30 a.m. Sunday southbound on Highway 218 when the bullet shattered the driver's side window of her Jeep and struck her in her neck, according to police. Her boyfriend, Adam Kimball, 32, who had she'd, who she'd been driving home from work, was struck in the face by the same bullet, but is expected to make a full recovery, police said. So that's pretty sad that somebody is driving and a hunter's uh, rogue bullet just comes in and hits you. So that's that's pretty sad. Next cruise ship in St. Lucia quarantine over confirmed measles case. St. Lucia Coast Guard confirmed the vessel bears the same name as one owned and operated by the Church of Scientology. The cruise ship with nearly 300 passengers and crew 
were ordered quarantined in the Caribbean port of St. Lucia after a case of measles was confirmed on board, Island Health officials said Wednesday. One female crew member has confirmed a case in St. Lucia and authorities said they have been working in close consultation with the Pan American Health Organization and Caribbean Public Health Agency. The ship has been under quarantine since Monday morning, officials said. Measles and a highly contagious disease, anyone who is not adequately immunized against measles can contract the disease if there has been a close contact with a confirmed case. According to a statement issued by Dr. Merlene Fredericks James, the island's nation's chief medical officer, it is therefore likely that the other person on the boat may have been exposed. The ship's doctor has, has the confirmed case in isolation on the ship. Dr. Frederick James added, the individual is in stable conditions. The St. Lucian health officials declined to name the, sh the ship involved, but St. Lucia Coast Guard Sergeant Victor Theodore told NBC News that the vessel involved is named Free Winds, which is the name of a 440 cruise, foot cruise ship owned and operated by the Church of Scientology. Theodore identified the quarantine craft as a name, on one as name the same one that's listed on the church's website. While no one has been allowed to leave the ship, St. Lucian authorities said they don't have the authority to keep it from leaving. For now, the ship is scheduled to leave St. Lucia at 11.59 p.m. on Thursday, officials said. The ship can leave our port, but we have no jurisdiction over their next destination. A Scientologist spokesperson could not be immediately reached for comment on Wednesday. So that's pretty dangerous to have a case of the measles on a cruise ship. Alright guys, that's it for these videos. Hit like and subscribe for more news. See you guys next time, and God bless.